Welcome to Reach Technologies, getting started with the SLCD series development kit. This tutorial is a demonstration of how easy it is to create your own screen with our development kits. The hardware setup is quite simple. You need a personal computer with an RS-232 serial port or universal serial bus. The contents of the development kit and optionally a USB FTD driver if you are using Universal Serial Bus. When you get your development kit, it's important that you follow the controller manual for the hardware setup. It has all the instructions for setting up the kit. For this demonstration, we use the SLCD 4.3 development kit. The 4.3 stands for the 4.3 inch diagonal LCD. The major components of this kit include the PowerCom 4 board that has two serial ports, a 5 volt DC connector, and that data and power is connected via two cables and I will not go into the details of how you connect the cables they're in the manual they're connected to a controller board and the controller board is an SLCD 4.3 it drives the LCD the LCD that we have with this development kit is an LG Philips wide quarter VGA the dimensions are 480 pixels by 272 pixels and on top of the LCD is a touch interface. Now once you get the kit put together you want to set up the communication channel and then apply power. In our case we're using USB and we wanted to use the COM port so instead of directly connecting USB to the controller board we went out and we purchased a USB to 232 converter. So we take that converter and apply the connection to the main RS-232 port on the PowerCom 4 board. So our communication link is now set up. And the last part of the hardware set up is to apply 5 volts of DC power. And now we have a working board. If you're using USB on your PC to connect to the SLCD series board, you need to make sure you have a USB driver. Our board uses an FTDI chip if you're connecting directly with the mini USB port. If you're using a USB to 232 converter like the Parallax.com you see here, they will also send you to the FTDI site or provide the drivers for you. So what I did was I simply Googled FTDI. I'll go to drivers and under drivers it's a VCP type device on our board and the particular device is FT232R and from there you can go ahead and download the driver. The software setup is also quite simple. You only need three components. A terminal emulator, Reach's BMP load application, and Reach's software command reference manual. The terminal emulator we used in this demonstration is the open source real term. This can be found with an internet search. Reach's BMP load application is found on our website at reachtech.com and Reach's software command reference manual is found on the CD with your development kit. So let's set up the software. Now we need to set up real term the serial capture program. First thing we have to do Let's get on the port tab and make sure settings are correct. The COM port we were using was COM5. 
the baud rate is 115 k baud the parity is 8 none 1 so parity is set to none data bits are 8 stop bits 1 and then for hardware flow control there is no hardware flow control after we have that all set up we want to hit the change button in real term it's important that you do that or it won't change the settings you can see the settings change on the lower right hand side of real term next thing we want to do is modify what gets displayed in the display area of real term so in order to see outgoing characters characters that we're going to type in like commands we want to hit half duplex and click that and we want to make sure our data is displayed as ASCII so that's done so let's hit a few carriage returns and see if we can't get a prompt okay we have our prompt you can see on the screen so we're all set up with real term to set up BMP load all you need to do is make sure that BMP load is connected to the device I'm going to show you how to do that right now but before we do that I need to show you two portions of this application the first is the SLCD status it contains a field called status and bytes available status just tells you the status of the connection and bytes available tells you the number of bytes available in flash memory in flash memory BMP files macro files and font files are stored the other section of the application is the port settings first one is the COM port and the other is the baud rate. This is the communication between BMP load and the SLCD series board. So let's connect. First, I select the COM port, it's COM5, and the baud rate is 115 k baud. Let's hit connect. You can see the status now went to connected, and the number of bytes available in flash are also displayed. The software command reference manual is the document that describes all the commands that you can use with your SLCD series board. In particular, the section software command reference contains the details of each command. For this demonstration, we're going to use the clear screen command display bitmap image command, set font command, and finally the button define latching state command. Creating your first screen is easy. 